Hey everyone, welcome back to another New World video. Hope that everybody is having an absolutely fantastic day and are honestly having a good start to the weekend. By the way, in today's video, we're going to go over an amazing build using a life staff and a hatchet. And you guys need to check it out as soon as possible. Now, unfortunately, I just started really kind of working on the hatchet for a couple of days. It's not fully maxed out yet and I haven't focused on only maxing it out. There's been some other things that I've wanted to be able to do here in New World. So I'll just kind of show you guys what my thought process will be in order to actually go ahead and get the best possible hatchet that you guys can. Now, my life staff is almost maxed out. It's a level 17 out of a level 20. So I have a couple left to go on there, but I've been kind of focusing more on using the axe as of the last couple of days just to try to get that uh, mastery up as best as I possibly could. But anyway, uh, obviously, we're going to go ahead and start by just kind of talking a little bit about some of the gear that you guys are going to need. Now, you guys are going to be wanting to focus on um, constitution, focus, and strength. Now, you guys can throw a little bit of dexterity in there if you guys choose to. But with this build, your primary focus is uh, either going to be the hatchet or the life staff so you guys have to kind of figure out which one is going to be more important for your specific play style are you going to be more of the healer and then use your hatchet as your secondary weapon or are you going to use the hatchet hatchet as your primary weapon and then that's going to kind of depend on where your armor focuses are going to be or maybe you're just lacking in a specific area like the ones that we talked about the strength constitution and focus and then you guys can put your attributes where you might need them so this armor is not a really good setup for this specific build. Just so you guys know, I had actually built this a while ago and I haven't found any decent armor since. It's been actually pretty crappy. I'm still wearing level 24 armor and I'm a level 40 and I've got nothing since then. I mean, nothing good anyway. So I've had to buy some stuff and even looking at the market, at least on the server that I'm part of, finding the things that I want to be a part of, like bank, focus constitution those are the only ones that i want to focus on i can't find the stuff that i'm looking for or it's actually over leveled where i'm at like some of the stuff is like at level 46 and i'm currently level 40. so you guys are going to run into some of those issues too where you guys can't always put on the armor that you want to but at least get something that's fairly close so you guys will see that a majority of the things that i am using is either strength to focus or constitution i've got one that's intelligence and then that's it so i eventually would like to replace my my body armor with something different going forward and hopefully i can get some better specs and hopefully i can get some epic gear and things like that will change eventually for me as well so that's kind of the primary uh part of it now if we actually take a look at the attributes obviously or again we're going to be focusing on strength focus and constitution uh, my focus is down actually just a little bit right now because of uh, probably one of the gear pieces that I'm currently using. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, it's the ring. That's what it is. So I would replace my ring right here with this ring. So if I put this back, then we should actually be right back where we need to be. And I would prefer because I like to be more of the healer just so that I can heal myself at any given situation. We can give ourselves 100 focus and then you're going to get that additional 20 to the mana pool and then we're going to get 10 percent of increase when salvaging so if you guys need to salvage a lot of materials and repair a lot of things like i have been then this is really good because 10 percent over a long period of time is definitely going to be worth it but minimum you guys need to be at least 50 which is going to help you guys with 10 percent uh, mana regenerate now the fishing line tension doesn't really matter then going forward in a lot of the focus category i'm not really too enthused about this one's okay at 150 with the 20 percent for the healing output but as far as the fish go i could absolutely care less if you guys are into fish then please let me know in the comments down below at least in new world anyway but a lot of this stuff is all revol all revolving around fishing and i just don't care it's not that big of a deal for me 
but anyway uh constitution is good uh the first one is we're gonna get all health consumables are gonna make you 20 percent stronger and then you get a 10 percent logging speed which some people probably don't care about that i do because eventually i want to get my logging a little bit higher i haven't been focusing in as much on it as i should be lately but that's a different topic for a different video and then we can increase our max health by 10 percent of our physical armor and I recommend that with this build that you guys either go with a medium or a heavy. Even though it's nice with light armor that you guys can actually get around the map really quickly. So it's always nice to have a light armor setup so that you guys can actually go ahead and move around the map quicker. But then put on armor when you're about to go into a dungeon or into a sticky situation. But I would recommend either the 50, 50th, the minimum, especially if you're going to be focusing on the focus and the life staff portion of it and then also try to get to 100 and then the rest of my stuff i'm actually pouring everything into strength because the primary weapons that i'm actually using the last video that i made if you guys haven't checked it out is the great axe make sure you guys watch it after this video the great axe and the hatchet are both in the same category so makes sense to actually put everything into strength going forward and then i might make myself my ice gauntlet build because that's actually what i had started with and uh we'll We'll uh, look at that some other time. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual weapon mastery. My life staff hasn't really changed at all. So this is everything that we're actually using. We are using Divine Embrace, the Sacred Ground, and then also the Beacon. I absolutely love the Beacon. It is so incredibly powerful because it does follow people around. I don't think I'm actually going to max out it for the, the speed of light. Uh, the haste uh, is okay. But um, it's only going to increase the movement speed. So I, I don't really know if that's really worth it. But there's other categories that we can put it into. But Sacred Ground is really good. Especially if you're standing still. And you need to recover after say a fight. And you're going to go ahead and mine or even skin an animal or whatever it might be. And you can throw this uh, spell down. And then you can actually mine up or skin your animal. And then you, by the time you're done with that you'll probably have regenerated a majority of your health because it lasts for 15 seconds, which is absolutely amazing. And then the last one I have is Divine Embrace. Now, this is probably the least of the ones that I use. So if there's a different category that you guys want to use, I, I like the things to be kind of just all over. So the Sacred Ground, it spreads to multiple people. The Beacon spreads to multiple people. Those are very, very beneficial being a healer uh but the nice thing about the divine embrace is it does cooldown wise for every six seconds that's really really quick so that's why this is maxed out so that i can focus on healing specific individuals if they get into a sticky situation especially in um, the group setting especially in the dungeon or whatnot but we have sacred ground completely maxed out and then eventually i'm going to go after divine blessing that will be another one of my points of my 20 that i'm going to be using we have Intensify. We are using, obviously, Absolve, just because it's going to cost no uh, mana for light and heavy attacks. Very essential for the build. Mending Touch. Life Staff Heavy Attacks now removes a debuff when passing through an al ally. So if you have um, something that's on an ally, you can actually just go ahead and throw a strong attack your way, and it gets rid of the poison, their bleeding effect, or whatever it might be, which actually helps out quite a bit. And then we have Blissful Touch, so light attacks now heal a target for 20% weapon damage when passing through an ally. Now, we don't have the uh, beacon completely maxed out just because I don't really want the haste. We kind of already briefly talked about that. We have the Spirits United, so it increases our mana regeneration for you and the group members by 3%. So if you have another healer, this can actually be really, really nice because you can actually be regenerating mana a lot faster. And since I've actually put this on, and since with this specific build, I don't use my spells as much as I am. My mana actually is not depleting as fast as it was prior. Now, as far as my other three, like I said, I'm going to go after Divine Embrace. I'm actually going to probably go after either this one, the uh, uh, Desperate Speed, or the Sacred Protection. Probably is the one that I'm going to go for. Um, and then over here, I think I'm actually going to go after, um, let's see, which one was it? The, uh, Fortify, the Protector's Touch. So Light Staff Heavy and, uh, Light and Heavy Grant Fortify for three seconds. 
so it basically reduces incoming damage so if you can throw that out there all the time even just by using a light staff um, for light and heavy attacks then you're always going to get 15 percent fortify which is going to help everybody in the long run so that's kind of where i'm putting all my points when it comes to life staff and i doubt this will ever change with any of my builds now moving on to the hatchet we've got uh, this is my setup now i don't know if i'm actually going to keep the uh the rendering throw um i just don't really like it that much um, i was using the raging torrent for a while and i kind of like that the only problem i didn't like about it is its cooldown is kind of higher and then the mending or the, the throw is still a 15 but i just don't really like it it doesn't do a lot of damage at least as of right now uh where my character is currently at um so this one is debatable and i'd like to be know where you guys kind of your thought process is, is behind what you guys would use instead of that one as well uh the next one uh we actually i am going to be maxing out berserker completely it's uh very very handy uh the, so the, we actually are going to have eight more points generated here real quick so let's just kind of take a look at everything that's kind of going on with the class itself so we've got this top one here we got enraged uh strikes so if a target it would blow 30 percent health or uh, light and heavy attacks deal 20 percent more damage nice and then we're going to go all out on berserker just because you should be using that as soon as it comes up and is re-able to be used again you need to be applying it because well it increases all attack damage by 20 percent while active so it will last for 12 seconds and then it cools down for 18 seconds so every 30 seconds you can use this but 12 of those seconds you're actually increasing your damage by 20 percent so very very nice now uh you guys can kind of see what's already on my screen as far as all the attributes and where i'm putting them i will tell you guys where i'm going to be focusing on the next ones the next one here will be crippling strikes so if feral's rush hits a target in the back it causes root immobilizing target for two seconds so if you can keep people from moving around or doing anything for a couple seconds and get some more damage on them that will be really nice uh, we're also going to focus here on fortifying strikes so hitting the same target with three light attacks grants fortify kind of the same thing with the life staff we get 15 percent for three seconds we can absorb more damage and then i'm going to be focusing more on the throwing side of things which um, again i'm not sure if i'm going to do this one or if i'm going to go ahead and put it back into the raging torrent i kind of like this one just because it felt like it did a lot more damage so just because he does the four fast attacks dealing 90 percent weapon damage which is really nice the other one i'm looking at is refreshing throws so thrown hatchets against targets with an active debuff reduces all cooldowns by five percent so there's that so all cooldowns and then we're going to go here with the critical throw this is why my throwing isn't very high yet because of things that i'm probably going to be working on later rejuvenating crits so successful crit hits uh, with light attacks or aimed throws regenerates 10 stamina which i don't know if that's really that important but it is one that i'm probably going to get um then we're going to go down here and we're going to go exploitation all attacks deal 15 percent additional damage to targets with an active debuff and drilling and rush dodging within two seconds of targeting or triggering an ability consumes 50 percent less dam uh stamina this is that's going to be more for like this is going to be more of a pvp style build now unfortunately i don't know how much of the throwing i am actually going to get into because i really want to go ahead and make mine a pve class so let's just talk about that real quick so that's going to be all three of these so that's three of our eight and pretty much everything on this side is going to be completely maxed out because we've got what five six seven eight nine so pretty much everything on the berserker side is going to be 100 percent maxed out by the time that i'm probably done with the specific build so there's your pve and pvp builds using the hatchet at least in my opinion but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys enjoyed the video make sure that you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated and if there's another class that you guys would like to see or a different combination by all means leave a comment down below because i'd love to be able to check it out for you guys and see what i can come up with 
But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.